That was pretty great. I liked that a lot. Why do I find this to be more embarrassing than the Persona 4 Cultural Festival? I don't know, man. That's a wild take, though. Because Persona 4 Culture Festival was actually, like, pretty bad, in my opinion. Like, this one's pretty good. It's not like, it's not like this is, like, the greatest thing I've ever seen before, but Persona 5 Cultural Festival is definitely much better in my eyes. I left the party with Kasumi to cool off a bit outside. That was so exhausting, but what a blast. I feel like I danced my heart out back there. As great as I expected. <sighs> Thank you. Wow, that dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> It's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Want me to walk you? Thank you. I'll be alright, though. The post-festival party was so much fun. Especially with you. See you soon! Jim's quieted down. Looks like the dance is over. I ought to head home. Peace out. Black Cobra, thank you for following. Post-festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to think about what happened earlier, but that has gotten me nowhere. So I could use a change of pace. How about it? Looks like I've received some messages. Want to go to the post-festival party and try to calm down? Can't really decide on what Akechi was saying anyways. I'm still pretty ticked off. While Mishima's here with me, you should join us. Uh, definitely Haru over Ryuji and Mishima. Sure, let's go. Thank you. I'll be waiting at the gymnasium. Should head to the gym. I don't think we're gonna make Coffee Dragon today, boys. There are a lot more cutscenes than expected. Alright, that was a great performance by the dance club. Everybody give them another round of applause. <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about what Akechi-kun said. Don't think about that now. Yes. I was looking forward to this party, so we should enjoy it. And now it's time for your favorite Shujin tradition, the student sharing special. Round of applause, everyone. Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. going to choose? I wonder who it will be. Probably one of the main characters in the room. How about that fluffy haired girl over there? I choose you. Huh? Congratulations, you're a Pokemon. Is he looking this way? Well then, come on up. He's talking to me, isn't he? It's because you're cute. And your name is? Wait, you're a Kumara son? Um, yes. What an unfortunate time to have called you up here, considering your dad was murdered a week ago. <laughs> what type of Pokemon would Haru be? Probably Steel Dark. Steel because of the Battle Axe and Grenade Launcher, and then Dark because she might be a sadist? Dark is also acceptable. So, uh, do you have anything you'd like to share with us? Well, my dad died on live television. Something to share. I have too many things. Uh, here, let me give you a question then. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are really Shujin students? You're just such an amazing MC, really. We're all dying to know what Akechi-kun was going to say about their true identities. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Okumura-san? Um, 
Haru is in trouble. I need to change the subject. Yes, <laughs> these are all great. I can't say, do you have a boyfriend? Because I know she has a crappy fiance. I've always loved you. One person in the room that's standing. So, Akumura san, what's your relation to this guy? Haru, get out of this situation quickly. Just say that you're a phantom thief. trouble. Huh? Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. You're a mysterious person, but you're so reliable. I think the two of us will get along quite well in the future. <laughs> As they say, who knows what may lie ahead? For now, I'm worried about what happened with Akechi-kun. But I have to say, my first post-festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last, too. Here, I'd like you to have this. Sakura Amazaku. I... bought it earlier. Looks delicious. <laughs> Now then, let's go home. Haven't a lot of people been losing their minds lately? Yeah, there's been a sudden increase. Bet it's because of that fan site and those kids and their darn smartphones. Heard the victims were on the rankings there. We should really be blaming the people who requested it. Oh. Welcome home. What is this? I don't remember this. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Utaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the phantom thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind the promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... 
Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. I can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. Why is it always at the end of stream that I get non-stop cutscenes? Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Tell Coffee Daddy everything. Can't tell me? If this keeps up, Futaba's... I'm gonna leave. I'll explain everything, Coffee Daddy. I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they... trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since... Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Okaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too. Still. So you found out? Really? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow. I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking. 
hope that one of these days she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? Yeah, I sent it. You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? A lot of coincidences add up that kind of make me out to be the one at fault here, don't they? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? Ryuji's a phantom thief. You're shark, Coffee Daddy. You think this is a game? Yes. You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Whoa, 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 whoa! She means in the cognitive way. Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? Guys, I just want to remind you, Ryuji is the only one who just shouts out that they're phantom thieves and stuff. No one else does that. But he doesn't just deal with the phantom thieves. He's actually one of them. <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! I'm a phantom thief. Are you serious? You really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro. So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months? Well, I wasn't a phantom thief at the very start. I became a phantom thief like what? Like four days in? And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way Mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like I didn't somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? I'm sorry. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. <sighs> Please end this cutscene. I see. Don't worry, even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. I mean, who would believe such a story? Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. There is no fight I can't win with your support, Coffee Daddy. What do you mean? Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on. Time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. 
If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. Please, just let me save. Come on! Why do you know everything? Yeah, but are you kidding? Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if Akira was not okay. I had a feeling the boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, she was killed by mental shutdown, the same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second, didn't you say boss had... Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? Government official. Ain't you letting your imagination run wild a bit? But it would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what. Oh, finally. I guess the chief had an inkling after all. Oh my goodness, we're done. we're done. We're done. We're done. Everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Link to Twitch in the description. Be back next time. Gonna do things and stuff and coffee dragon and etc. And until then, farewell.